What's up? Still with Mills. We're back surveying the old damage on the old beaver dam. One day, exactly one day, and the raccoons are in heaven. Sheesh, the raccoons are in heaven there. Look at this. Look at this. So I'm gonna show you guys a few things here. Bank den, right here. Right there, wow. Before I killed the beavers, probably. Bank den was hidden under there. Never would have ever seen it if you weren't in there crawling around. They got this tunnel going that way. You got the main channel they've dug out going that way. And I, I'm gonna have to go over there to show you kind of the old creek bed. And then they got another run over there that's pretty cool. I don't think I can get to, but. Oh, we got a nice steady flow rolling out of this baby. Here's what we got, guys. Water was clear up here. That's how much water we let out. Raccoons are doing their thing. So, uh, <laughs> look at this. Look at this, Mills. Wow. So, uh, after, aftermath, uh, there's the crater, boys. The aftermath of the explosion. Huh? It's right there. That's that. That was a little. That's a little bit bigger than I thought. I really, I really thought about putting my camera on that tree, but as you could, I don't know if you guys can make it out or not. This tree is completely coated in mud and debris. You can see that it all got washed down here. This was all water. That's how much water came out. Look at all the debris. Everywhere. Carcass? Probably a raccoon. Yeah, it's a raccoon. We've got... Oh my god. You were going to put it there? Yeah, I was going to mount it right there. It blew it up. A... Look how high the water got. The but there's the dam. Completely. I mean, I would say we did her. We did her on this one. There's no doubt about it. Size a hole. That's a crater. And I got so many comments saying that, that I just blew the top off. That's a deep ass hole right there. We did more than blow the top off that some bitch. So we're gonna walk down that way and check out some things. So stay tuned guys. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm right back to a spot. Right here is where I caught a beaver and some raccoons. You can actually still make out my footprints when I walked out here. The tramp was clear up there. There's the old cast around right there. But there's a, there's a stream right here. This is what gets people. Your water line was clear up here and you walk out there and you're like, oh, this ain't bad. And you step in that old creek and you're toast. We are completely empty. Alright, walk over here and look at something. So we had... You can see my, my tracks where I was showing you guys this stuff. It's all out of the water. So there's really hardly any bank dents. I've only found one bank dent so far. And it was clear back that way. So it would have been tough to find them in there. Look at all them trees that are down. Uprooted, whatever. But there's an aftermath. Let's, let's go we'll look up a little bit farther and see what it looks like. Okay. Alright, look at this guys. So them beavers chewing trees down, cleared out. This was all water yesterday. Clear over to that point. You can see how much water came out of this. But I noticed there's a still a decent hole over there, so there could still be some beavers here. But look at this. It's just a freaking wasteland. And look at the trail, guys. Raccoons are already using it, but the beavers had a shortcut right straight through there under that tree. Perfect spot for a 330, but you never would have known that because it was all underwater. But now you can see it if this fills up again next fall. They'll still use that and I'll put a 330 under that tree next year. 
but look at that i mean you never would have saw that until you felt it when you're walking through there or something pretty crazy all right guys check this out so we got that run going through there under these trees there's more there's more spots to put your traps that's pretty obvious but I see now that there could be beavers over here still. I could banked in there. We got a nice little pond that's been left here. Water's dirty. They got to run here. So we'll just come through. That's a lot of water went out in a short period of time. So we'll just keep an eye on it and make sure they don't rebuild. The cows will be able to go through here again. We've got grass growing in here and it'll be back to normal. But you guys wanted to see the redo or the after effects of my break. We got a lot of raccoon in here and exploring already. All this stuff was underwater. Just picture walking through here trying to find runs. That's it. I mean, it's impossible. Bank den. Now there's raccoon den, but look at these raccoons. Even the raccoons will follow that. But right there, that's your killer set right there. Right under that tree. Put one on each side and double your odds. But, well, that's it from the, we'll do a 360 here. That's it from the, the beaver pond. We called it the beaver swamp, I think, I can't remember. Right over here is why the homeowner wanted them gone. Look at the size of these gigantic trees that nobody wants to mess with except for the beavers and they've basically killed them they shoot on all bottoms and they will fall now and i'll show you in a minute but one already fell out in the field and that's stuff that they don't want to could fall on a cow you never know but those are some monster trees that are gonna fall so hey guys it's a short video thanks for watching i wanted you to see the aftermath stay tuned for more damn explosions <laughs>